I have uh, pointed out exactly where in each case mathematics had a key role in the miracle and the bifurcation that happened. I think that uh, society that rejects mathematics cannot actually successfully deal with these problems. And therefore, I have activated myself uh, against the problem, especially prevalent in the United States, and concomitant with other problems that are especially prevalent in the United States, the problem of math, anxiety, avoidance, and uh, misunderstanding. Mm. And uh, here I would say that there is a huge uh, institution, more or less equivalent to the scientific community, that is arrayed against this information, that uh, somehow the uh, educational system has been particularly persistent in the destruction of mathematics, in the destruction of mathematical capability of youth, and therefore in disempowerment of the society with its critical faculty to change. I do not believe you can have any clarity of view in the progress of history with no mathematical training on the part of any of the participants. I have seen in this society that even Nobel Prize winners in physics have math anxiety to a very severe degree. I'm able to detect this because it's something that uh, is uh, amplified. It's behavior that emerges as soon as I walk into a room. <laughs> so <clears throat> uh, I, I, I guess I feel in some that my, my own uh, efforts have been rather, rather less successful, or maybe I haven't been as uh, clever in turning to the left or right at the, at the crossings of the road. The problem is already much less severe in other countries, so it seems like we needn't worry too much. In, in Europe, throughout Europe, for example, the uh, problem of the destruction of mathematical capability is far less severe. The only thing really disturbing there is that it's growing at an alarming rate, that it's becoming, is they're inheriting the disease from the United States, a spreading disease based on standardized examinations like the SAT and equivalent movements. So uh, there you have it, a problem that's so bad that the very mention of the word mathematics produces a um, aversion reaction that is paralyzing. So that much as I hate to, and you've seen this uh, today, that I can go through an entire day without mentioning mathematics, with mentioning mathematics but not the word mathematics, in the hopes of tricking people into recognizing that some ideas like this that have to do with uh, perception of space-time patterns in the abstract, that these, uh, these skills are, are useful. Can I add to that, I mean, I don't think what Ralph means is that it's a tragedy that most people can't factor a quadratic equation. I think he speaks as he does because he is so professionally immersed in these issues. As someone somewhat more distant from all of this, but in agreement from Ralph, the failure to teach mathematics in practical social and political terms boils down to a failure to teach uh, logic and discriminating understanding. The great evil, in my humble opinion, which haunts our enterprise, and I say this realizing I'm setting the fox among the chickens, the great evil that has been allowed to flourish in the absence of mathematical understanding is relativism. And what is relativism? It's the idea that there is no distinction between shit and shinola. <laughs> that all ideas are somehow operating on equal footing. So one person is a chaos theorist Another is uh, a follower of the revelations of this or that new age guru. Someone else is channeling information from the Pleiades. And we have been taught that political correctness demands that we treat all these things with equal weight. 
Because we have no mathematical ability, no logical ability, we don't know how to ask the questions that expose some positions as preposterous, trivial, insulting to the intelligence, and unworthy of repetition. So uh, we all are very comfortable bashing science and flailing away at that, but that isn't our enemy. Science is capable of undertaking its own reformation and critique and has been engaged in that fairly vigorously for some time. Uh, the enemy that will really subvert the enterprise of building a world based on clarity is the belief that we cannot point out the pernicious forms of idiocy that flourish in our own community. And this problem is going, growing worse all the time. I mean, just pick up a copy of Magical Blend or Shaman's Drum and you will discover an appeal to the level of intellect that makes what's going on with television advertising look like a meeting of the Princeton Institute of Advanced Study. Uh, we have tolerated too many loose heads in our uh, community. We are not willing to take on the karma involved in argument and discourse that actually gores somebody's ox so that at the end of the day, iridology or Mormonism or some other form of institutionally supported foolishness lies in shreds on the floor. We consider this politically incorrect. I can feel the tension in this room because people sense I might gore their particular thoughts. Uh, if we had learned mathematical logic, or reason, or rules of evidence. When someone approaches us uh, excited to inform us that uh, the ruins of Lemuria have been spotted in the deep sea off Big Sur, or something like that, uh, we would be able to respond to that with the contempt it deserves. Uh, I, I had a conversation about this recently with someone who if I had to describe their job category, I would describe them as uh, mafiosa. And I said, uh, what do you think of uh, the abduction phenomenon? And without hesitation, this person said, there are just so many foolish people in the world. And to me, all of these things are intelligence <coughs> tests. And the people who pass the intelligence test are not worrying about pro bono proctologists from other star systems on a in their bedrooms. So, uh, you know, we, we have perfected politeness. We have perfected the ability to listen to damn foolishness without betraying by so much as the flick of an eyebrow that we realize what we're in the presence in of. Now I think it's time to refine our mathematical skills, learn to think straight, and not be afraid to uh, denounce the pernicious forms of foolishness which are vitiating the energies of our community and making us appear uh, marginal and absurd in the discourse about truly transforming society. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see this laboratory of clarity unfold before me tonight. As <laughs> and as all nonsense is dispelled, as the scalpel of reason is, is, is brought out by Terence. <clears throat> Yes, well, it is an ambiguous enterprise and fraught with contradiction, but forward, ever forward. <laughs> <laughs>